The YWCA of the Quad Cities wants you to show your generosity this Giving Tuesday by helping someone who may use their services in the future. TV6's Joshua Blount tells us how you can make a difference. The YWCA of the Quad Cities is making sure no one goes without their basic needs this winter. The organization wants your help in stocking its immediate needs pantry Tuesday at its new Iowa Empowerment Center location on Mississippi Avenue in Davenport. We're looking for things like shelf-stable food, um, cleaning, laundry supplies, baby items, diapers, wipes, baby food formula, anything along those lines. We take just about everything because I guarantee you there's someone in the community that needs, needs it. Deanna Woodall is the Vice President of Development, Growth and Empowerment Service at the YWCA. She says Giving Tuesday is a great way to help support community needs. All the donated supplies will be given to anyone who uses the YWCA services or express a need. Woodall says it's about achieving its mission of empowering women and families. Providing resources to the community is what we do and what we love as one of our pillars at the YWCA. And um, unfortunately, 33% of this community are living below their basic needs, and we're here to help. The new location of the YWCA Iowa Empowerment Center is over 13,000 square feet. Those who stop by will also get a tour of the new building. She says with the extra space, the YWCA can expand and offer new services as well. We'll do more continuing education opportunities. We also have added showers to our um, bathrooms that were completely renovated as well. So not yet, but hopefully in the near future, we hope to be able to provide community showers at no cost to people that are in need. We also have a washer and dryer laundry facilities. Again, they're not completed, but we hope to be able to provide that in the very near future where we can provide laundry services to people that need to come and wash a load of clothes. If you are someone who needs the YWCA services, Woodall says it's easy to schedule a sit down. We are open from 9 to 3.30. They can call, schedule an appointment for an intake, and we just have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with them and find out exactly what they're looking for and exactly how we can help them. Joshua Blount, TV6 News. The collection drive will take place today from 11 a.m. until 4 p.m. The YWCA staff says you can also make a monetary donation.